Hey guys, what's up? I'm out here finishing up my airbox modification install. I just want to give you a few tips on how to find some hidden horsepower in the airbox. Easy things to do if you're mechanically inclined, you're comfortable doing this. Uh, but before I get started, if you want to see more of these kind of videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. I got a full season of track days, three bikes that require a lot of maintenance work. I'm going to be doing a lot of this stuff all year round. So hit the like and subscribe to follow me and see more of it. But first of all, I'm just going to give you a quick tip on airbox mod and something to check to get quick horsepower, easy horsepower, nothing crazy, but every little bit counts. All right. Okay, so, so this is the box mounted. And this is what I was talking about. Like if you look at the, where it connects to the frame, that is actually a much better seal and more solid than the soft foam. And this is what it looks like. I mean, if you compare that, how much more air box I have and the cleaner ramp, versus the factory one or where it has to hit that wall and then climb up and over. I'm really hoping for some good improvement in this. Kind of excited to try it. I wish I had the thin head gasket already in it, but it is what it is. And just, just what I've done with the extra gearing and the air box, I'm hoping to uh, get a good increase in power, something I can feel. I just want to show you that essentially this is a Gen 4 ZX10 airbox, modified stacks. I don't know if they work. I'm gonna, you can see what I've done. If you want to try it, try it. Uh, I have no idea. But if you do dyno and get feedback, give it to me and tell me if I should keep it or pull them. Um, so I just want to show you what it looks like down one of the stacks um, so essentially the stack meets there's a lip here that it meets and the idea is to line these stacks up all the way down into the head and it's hard to see but where the throttle body meets there's another point that you can line up there's the rubber boot that goes between the throttle body and the head that you can line up. And if you're comfortable, I have actually pulled these boots and shaved them or trimmed them to where the head, from the head up to the stack is pretty much in perfect alignment where there's no ridges. Uh, there is a little bit one between the throttle body stack and the stacks but i can't really do anything about that but from the throttle body down to the head i have basically eliminated any lip that exists so that's just my tip try to gain a little bit extra horsepower every little flow helps and uh, i'm just going to end this video there and continue putting this bike back together see you in our video